All right, guys, it is 52 degrees outside with a high today of, I guess, maybe um, 54. And it is pouring super hard. And you can see that we have a lot of rain out there. I mean, a ton of rain. Uh, I'm sure there's flooding everywhere. All right, guys, checking, you know, where I maybe sometimes have some leaks and unfortunately I have a little leak here on the side I've been dealing with this for years I think last year we took a break from it and we actually did not have any leaks but it's just a very slight leak and it's right here and then again right back there once the rain subsides here and it dries out I will dry this up out here and go back outside and see what I can do to uh, patch that up it's ongoing and at some point I'm gonna just cut this piece of board out here because it's definitely uh, seen some water damage over the last couple years but I don't see any huge mold thing going on in here um, because it's been dry in here but yep I tried it this morning and it did it takes a major rain like this for for it to do that I guess that's what that's when it does it and it is certainly certainly raining hard out and it has been for a good 24 hours I mean we have a lot of rain folks we have a lot of water out there big time flood situations all around I would imagine All right, guys, that sun is just getting ready to break here. It's a nice sky this morning. Windy, windy. Very windy night last night. And it's just touching the hill back here, that sunlight. Yeah, it is cool out with that wind blowing. All right. Roasting those orange peels there. They're great fire starters. Uh, guys, I'm, uh, I had to learn baby shark. For today's uh, diaper crowd. Yep. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark. Yeah, right. It's actually a catchy little tune in a way. Good morning, Jack. Right now, it's 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 30 degrees. There you go. Good morning, Tin. Got ourselves a nice little fire going in here. 12 degrees outside. 55 degrees in here. I just cranked down the little master heater for a little bit here to get some instant uh, heat. Well, this is more of an instant heat than the fireplace. It's about 10 after 8 in the morning here. It's up to 68 degrees in here. I just brought in the light of day. In fact, I gotta turn off the lights here and the only source of heat we have on now is the fireplace let me just put a hey Tim how you doing buddy we just put a brick in here it's a two brick morning guys I have to go out and uh, chop up some wood out there let's see so Let's find out what the temperature is. It may be a little bit warmer out now. Well, the temperature's gone up one degree outside. And it's supposed to go up another 17 degrees. To still have us below freezing by a couple degrees. That's winter for you. But hey, it's beautiful out there as far as I'm concerned. The sky is blue and the sun is shining. Over here, I want to show you something. I want to have the sunlight coming through here, you know, because that just adds to the warmth here. I should open this up too. 
I keep the windows, you know, closed at night or, you know, shades over them or curtains or whatever just to keep the heat in and the cold out. So we'll, we'll blanket right across here to help keep it warm with the aid of a budgie cord right there. Here's my idea, guys. I have this wool poncho placed right over the door here. The halfway mark. It's on a bungee cord here. And I've just got the bungee cord strung to this little thingamajigger here. And then again over here. And, well, how are you going to get out, Jack? Well, I just unfasten this like this. And then put the bungee cord right onto this little hook over there. Then we can get out the door. I'll show you how I have the bungee cord hooked on here. I ran it through a little loop. I don't know what you call these things, but whatever that little screw is there in the bungee cord goes through it. And, you know, it's not going to come out the other end. And then I bring it over here to this side where there's a little hook. And then I have it on there like that. And then I just put the blanket simply right over this like that and then when it's time to remove the blanket you just go like that bring this over here hook it onto that side and the blanket is simply folded in half right over this it's like a little clothesline it is so easy wow that only took me almost 10 years of living in here to figure that out oh well all good things in time but I'm sharing it with you guys right now, and it's something that uh, I'm sure you're not going to be doing. But if you're putting holes in your RV like that and living like me, living simple and just kind of making things up as you go along, then, uh, hey, that might be a good idea, right? Just like that. Sweet. Tin, we are going to step out into the day here. You're, you're, you are totally full of food, brother. You gotta chow down a little bit. Let's go out into this 13 degree weather. I wanna fix this. This is where the leak is, right here, baby. Right in here, we have a leak. I should probably just pull this all out right in here. Pure frostiness. Those ice crystals, that is so cool. Just surveying the yard on this very cold morning, but it feels feels nice out here. I'm dressed warm enough. Dressed warmly. I've got long johns underneath my fleece line jeans. That sounds like a song. Alright guys, we're gonna go over and pick up my brother. I'm going to take him to the airport. We're going to take a walk together. I haven't gotten to see him this whole vacation. Or the whole his whole vacation. Uh, he was with my parents. Everybody was sick. Including me. <laughs> I'm feeling better. He's feeling kind of better. And I'm, we're both going to be wearing masks when we're in the car. And I'm going to go pick him up. So that's what we're doing. It's a beautiful afternoon. Just like it was when I picked him up last week. Except it's a lot colder. I cut my head on the door the other day, guys, on my car door here. I slammed it right into my head. So that's what the cut is above my, uh, on my forehead here. All right, I'm taking a walk with my brother, Matt. Before we go to the airport, we stop down to the park here in my hometown, or the place where I reside. Getting a little fresh air before we put him on the plane. So we're down here at the tip of the park. Here you go, how about this, huh? Shadows, brother, shadows. It's our shadows. Here before the new year comes. Hanging out with my brother Matt. From Colorado. All the way from Longmont. Thank you.
Yeah.